Hi everyone, this is Margaret Manning with Boomerly. Staying in shape after 50 is a challenge and it's a choice that we have. Um, I, for one, have been a person who's uh, gone backwards and forwards with losing weight all my life. And, you know, I, I'm with everyone who, who will argue that it's very difficult to lose weight after you're 50. Your metabolism slows down a little bit and can be a little, little bit more of a challenge. But as I said, it's a choice that we have and it can do an incredible amount of good uh, to your overall well-being and uh, longevity. Uh, so I think losing a bit of weight and staying healthy is really important. So I've got some tips that I use myself and hopefully they'll be useful to you. Nine tips for how to lose weight or at least how to get your weight um, in balance and stay healthy in your 50s and beyond. So the first one is a really simple thing. First of all, I don't like going to the gym. So all of these um, suggestions don't involve a gym membership or any kind of weights or <laughs> exercise machines. These are all other things that you can do to keep your weight in check. So, the first thing is, and it sounds simple, buy small plates. I, I, it's actually really fun because I love um, you know, having eclectic different plates at the table, so having small plates, you can get some really cute ones, and, and I use those for my food. Rather than a great big plate, you tend to eat what's on the plate. I think that goes back to your childhood where your parents kept telling you to eat all your food. <laughs> but if you put a small amount of food on a plate, it works. So small portions. The second thing is, the humble egg timer. I think that probably a lot of people listening are like me and spend a bit of their day, quite a bit of their day in a chair, sitting at a desk working and not moving around. And so the humble egg timer for me is something I use to remind myself every couple of hours to get up, move around the room a bit, go for a walk around, even around the house, around the block, um, or just do a bit of chair yoga just something to stretch your muscles and get your you know your feet on the ground again that's the, that's the second thing um you can reduce calories in lots of different ways one is to drink a little less alcohol now i know that there's a lot of evidence that shows a glass of red wine every day is good for you it actually uh, has chemicals that are you know help your body stay strong but i think that one glass a day is different than two or three so i think the advice would be to reduce your alcohol content not completely if you like a drink, but um, reducing it will help a lot. And you know yourself what you know, what kind of reaction you have to alcohol as far as weight goes. A lot of people I know say they cut back on alcohol and immediately they lose uh, weight. So just see how it works for you. Um, walking to burn calories is another thing to consider. That's number four. Um, you know, I love walking. I always put my headphones on and listen to books as I'm walking. And um, that I think is probably one of the easiest things you can do. But the secret is not to kind of amble along and stroll, but to actually walk <laughs> quickly, you know, pick up the pace and really feel that your heart is moving, you know, pumping a bit and you're getting your, you know, some really good exercise with walking. Next thing, big problem for me, eliminate snacking, <laughs> especially what I would call mindless snacking. Um, I really have to struggle with this, especially if you're working at a computer. It's just so easy to have nuts and food and fruit <laughs> sitting next to you. But if you are going to nibble, choose something like celery or, you know, or I guess nuts are good for you too. So choose, just be thoughtful about your snacking. Another thing to do is to get back into nature. If you have a garden, if you're, you're lucky enough to have a garden, get out there and just you know do a bit of um, weeding. You can even do some yoga in the garden. There's some exercises that are great you can do in the garden. And if you don't have a garden, then maybe get some container pots or or just go walk around the the, the park near your house. So just somewhere that you can breathe in nature and you know just get that sense of um, I don't know just clean cleanliness and and renewal. It's a really great model for that. Another thing that I love to do, I think this is number seven, is to go dancing. And, uh, you know, there's so many great classes now that you can um, uh, attend. Community groups have them, or you can join, you know, a proper class. And, of course, it's a great way to meet people as well. But, you know, most of us love to dance when we were young, even if we weren't very good at it. You know, just moving is just so lovely. And, in fact, I went to a concert last night, and um, the, on stage the, the woman was dancing. And she was just dancing little dance steps. She wasn't, like, moving an incredible amount. But by the end of it, and she had a great uh, physique. <laughs> so I think dancing is a really another a great thing for you to do, to lose some weight and have fun at the same time. Another thing is, is cars and vehicles. 
honestly, if you can just park your car a few blocks from the, the, the place that you're going, your, your workplace or, or the, uh, the shops, that's great. Just kind of refuse automation for a while and, um, and just walk a little bit further every day. Elevators or lifts, you know, make sure that you, if you can, you know, get, just walk up the steps rather than taking the lift. And I think this kind of goes with the one about snacking, but if you're going to have um, snacks between meals, then choose healthy snacks. And there's some great ideas. Um, if you go to the article, um, we have plenty of thoughts for you to consider and some great pictures, by the way, of food that you can eat um, that is good for you, that is healthy. And if you go through all these steps, I think I covered nine, um, you'll find that um, you know, you're maybe feeling better and if you dare to get on the scales, you're actually losing some weight too. But you know, always the priority is to feel good and to be healthy. And uh, so hopefully this has been useful and um, love you to check out the article on the website and leave your comments there. If there's anything that you've done to lose a bit of weight and, and get healthy, we'd love for you to share with us. Okay, everyone, we'll have a wonderful day and uh, stay healthy.